That was supposed to be my enthusiastic opening theme of sorts to welcome you to a mailbox goodies video with moi, Aziza, gourmet pens in a new location with a different background that doesn't have notebooks and inks and other things behind me. So it's kind of plain right now. We have moved to Red Deer, Alberta. We are going to be here for a little bit and um, I I don't have anything behind me except for this tiny little cart over here because I just didn't bring a whole lot of my stuff and I used up a lot of stuff and this is just how it's gonna be. So sorry if the background is really boring. Why are you looking? Don't look at the background, look at, look at moi. I have stuff to share with you. Now, mailbox goodies. Today's assortment of items come from Cambridge, Ontario, which is not far from where I have just moved from. Oh, sorry. Um, this is from Fight On Pens, and uh, we've got three items. So I've got two notebooks and an ink. And let me show you the notebooks first because the ink is the super exciting thing. Now, thank you, Mano, for sending the stuff over. We've got, wait, let me show you the ink too. Ooh. Ah, but you don't know much about the ink yet. So. Uh, the notebooks, these are called Quattro notebooks. This is an artist blank and this is an 8x8 grid. These are a new line that Fidon will be carrying. They're very interesting. I'm intrigued. They seem to be the kind of notebook that I like. Uh, it's got the flippy cover that folds all the way back, perforated pages, different rulings. No idea if this is fountain pen friendly, we'll have to see and it's got a firm backing, but like still kind of flexible. And the large one has a fascinating ruling. Yeah, interesting. Well, um, it's a five by seven inch grid, um, 80 acid free sheets, micro perforated. This size is 12 Canadian dollars and this side is six Canadian dollars. So we will take a look at this stuff but like after because right now the exciting thing is this ink and the ink is called a leap of faith and uh Fidon had this commissioned to be made by diamine who makes tons of inks but the this is an exclusive to fi exclusive to Fidon pens it is yes yeah, just making sure it's 20 dollars canadian uh you get 80 mils of ink super pretty box. I like Diamine inks, like I've had really good experiences with them. Um, I think they're really pretty, they're fairly well behaved, like I say fairly well because I'm considering that there are a couple, um, like the Onyx Black, which can stain, I've never used it so I don't know, but um, overall like I haven't had any issues with them. But anyway, all that aside, my point was that I like Diamine inks. Now, A Leap of Faith was made to celebrate Fight On Pen's 10 year anniversary of having a brick and mortar store. And I actually really like the naming. They named it A Leap of Faith because 10 years ago, they decided to launch the store big on A Leap of Faith. And that's just really cute, a really nice commemoration. Um, what's more fun than having a bottle of ink? Not a whole lot, not a whole lot more fun than that. So. We've got A Leap of Faith. Now, this is a ultraviolet black with sheen, um, like a deep, deep red sheen. Let me show you my swab that I have made. Really interesting. Very work appropriate. I think it's a very pretty color. Not just like a boring blue black. It's actually like a deep ultramarine, purple, violet, interesting color. So what we're gonna do is test this ink out, see what it looks like on some paper, and we will do that with the camera pointing down. So let's over, head over there and do that. I will see you in a minute. Thank you again to Fight On Pens for sending the stuff. Uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy this. Hello everyone, welcome back to the more exciting part of this video type thing. Uh, we are looking at these goodies from Fight On Pens. I know you already know this because you saw me like two seconds ago. So we have the notebooks and I'm just going to zoom out a little, sorry. Uh, we've got the notebooks and um, these are the Quattro notebooks. Now I just thought this is the smaller size, which is really cool. But let's take a look at the, actually, no, I'm only going to write in one because I don't want to make it extra ugly, which I already have. I've written a line on this page. 
Um, I was actually I already, uh, too lazy to grab me grab myself grab myself another pen. Um, this one has a Kobe ink in it. Now the paper's a little bit toothy, but. Um, it does tolerate the inks quite well. Low show through, very, very minimal bleed through, if any. Um, but because it's toothy, you're not gonna get a whole bunch of shading and not a whole lot of sheen. So it depends on what you like to use your notebooks for. I actually think this is really nice for ballpoints, pencils, that kind of thing. I wouldn't necessarily use this with fountain pens, not because it can't handle it, because there's no feathering, um, it looks pretty good, but because I I prefer this kind of paper for pencils because of the tooth catching the lead. But anyway, the focus here is not actually the notebooks. I just wanted to show you the notebooks because um, Fidon will be carrying them. The focus is a leap of faith ink, and we're gonna take a look at it. Oops. Um, I am going to use my Toronto Pen Company folded nib because I enjoy how inks look with this and if you I know that a folded nib is not an accurate representation of what an ink would look like with a fine but this is how I use my inks so I use broad wet writers so for me this is what I like to see um okay we're gonna do a bit of a splatter here and then let that dry and I'm also going to do a quick Sorry, I don't have the right angle here. Because I'm trying to keep my hand out of the way. Um, hello. So that you can see what's going on. Very, very beautiful color. Um, a deep purple with a bit of blue in it, hence ultraviolet. And um, I think with the sheen, like this is a good color for those who like sheen, but not so much that it changes the color of the ink intensely. So there is definitely a deep red sheen on there, but I think it's subdued enough that you can use this for work very easily. Um, it's a very elegant color. Very, very beautiful. So I actually don't have a lot of colors like this, so I'm kind of excited about this. We're going to move this out of the way a little bit because we're going to do a quick look at the swabs. So the swab I have here is super saturated in certain spots so that you can see the sheen. Um, I think with a broad writer, you get a lot of shading. You get a lighter purple, and then you get into this dark, like black purple. So it really depends on what you like. So we've got Waterman Tender Purple, which looks really cold here. Um, Diamine 150th Anniversary Lilac Night. Schaefer Purple. Mont Blanc Lavender Purple. Uh, KWZ Warsaw Dreaming, which is like a deep blue-black. Um, we've got the Krishna Inks um, Anoki, which is a lighter purple, but super heavy on sheen. Um, I'm looking for another bluish purple. Um, Kobe number no. 7 Kaikyo Blue. I really don't think I have a color that really matches this one. Um, here's another new Super Sheeny ink, which is the Diamine Skull and Roses. Uh, Kobe number 14, Maya Lapis Purple. The Leap of Faith is still darker. And let me see, we've got Bungu Box 4B, the Blue Black. And I've got two more here that are also very sheeny. Krishna Inks, Moon View, and the Pen Gallery, Diamine, Jalur, Gemilang. So, you know, like there's a whole bunch of sheeny inks out there right now. They're a lot of fun. It depends what you like. But for me, like I enjoy using folded nibs and practicing calligraphy with this kind of stuff because it just looks really nice. So there you go. There's an option for you if you're looking for a nice work appropriate uh, deep purple ink or if you just want something fun to play with. If you just want to support a brick and mortar store, um, you know, why not 
why not take a look at it? So that's for Fidon Pens. Thank you again to Fidon Pens for sending this to me. Uh, there will be a full review on my blog, but I just wanted to give you a quick preview of it here. If you enjoyed this, I would be super grateful if you would like and subscribe. And you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Patreon as Gourmet Pens. So let me know down below what you think of the ink, and I will include links so that you can go check it out for yourself. Um, links being the phone number so you can phone them if you want to order. And that's everything. Thank you again for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.